Hello and welcome to Blytheray Business News. For this edition, I'm joined by Jeremy Asher, who is Chairman and Chief Executive of Tower Resources. Tower, listed on the AIM market in London with a symbol of TRP and a market capitalisation of around £2.3 million sterling. Jeremy, welcome back on the programme. You've recently announced, Tower has recently announced, the execution of a contract with bore drilling uh, for the hire of the, I hope I'm saying this correctly, the Norv Jackup rig. Now, please explain the significance of signing this contract for the rig uh, for the viewers. The Njanji 3 appraisal well is the key step to getting the Njanji structure on our Tali license moving towards first oil and production. So finding a rig to drill it has been absolutely critical. Now, finding a rig for a single well is also a real challenge for anyone at the moment, given this current rig market. So we're very pleased to have agreed the contract for this rig slot with Bohr, and we're very grateful for their support. Well, now, big question, I suppose, when do you expect the rig to be available to you, and when can we anticipate the, the spudding of the well? The rig's completing a campaign at the moment nearby in West Africa for another consortium of oil companies. So its availability will depend on how quickly those remaining wells go. But we hope for Q2 2024 and otherwise Q3. So we'll start hopefully in the summer. OK, now, in addition to announcing the, uh, the contract for the rig, you've also announced uh, that you've completed a subscription to, today's, to raise some additional capital. What does Tower plan to do uh, to use that money for? And then what's the longer term plan for financing and what's the strategy for financing Tower? Well, we plan to use um, this money not mainly for the well, but for other things. We plan to raise most of the well cost with asset-based financing, most likely by way of one or to farm out like transactions, as we've discussed with investors in the past. And that's still the plan. Uh, but we do also need working capital at the moment, uh, both for Cameroon a little, but also to keep our work programs in Namibia and South Africa moving forward. Uh, as we explained a few months ago, we've been updating our analysis of the leads on our Namibian blocks at the moment. Uh, this involves a fresh analysis of the structural and potential stratigraphic traps along the potential migration routes that we identified in our recent basin modeling study. So this work is essential as we prepare for acquisition of 3D seismic data in Namibia in 2025. And we're going to keep working on that, expect to have it complete, I hope, in the next six months. Uh, we also have ongoing work to do in South Africa with our partner, New Age, as we prepare to acquire more 3D seismic data there as well. Uh, some investors may have noticed that the firm CGG is planning a multi-client 3D seismic data acquisition in 2025. And a multi-client study should be lower cost than a proprietary study. So they're currently obtaining their environmental permits and New Age is already talking with them about possible participation in that on behalf of the joint venture. Uh, as investors probably know, New Age also has an ongoing farm out process underway that's been going on for some time uh, regarding uh, South Africa. And we hope that some process like that will help defray the cost of the upcoming 3D seismic to both the current partners. Uh, and so we're also supporting that process. So altogether, there's quite a lot going on at the moment uh, and including quite a lot going on outside of the Cameroon well important as that is. Well, with that rig contract uh, sorted for Cameroon, and thank you for that roundup, by the way, with, with the contract sorted for Cameroon, what about news flow coming up? What can investors, what can viewers expect to see from Tower in, in the coming months? First of all, documentation of the Tali license extension. Secondly, I do hope we'll be announcing one or two asset level financing transactions. Thirdly, there'll be the service contracts. Um, there'll be the narrowing of the date range for the spout of the well and mobilization of the, of the rig in due course. Uh, and then there'll be the drilling of the well. So that's all quite a lot of uh, exciting things happening in Cameroon. But in the meantime, I also expect that as the year goes on, 
We'll be updating the lead volumetrics and prioritization in Namibia, which I think will be also very important for us. Um, and then we'll be updating our 3D seismic acquisition plans, uh, both in South Africa and also later in the year in Namibia. So altogether, it was sort of all going to come at once, but it should make for a very exciting 2024. Well, Jeremy, you must come back and keep us updated and keep us up to date with progress on all of that. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, that was Jeremy Asher, Chairman and Chief Executive of Tower Resources, giving us two key bits of news, uh, the contract for the rig for uh, Cameroon, but also on the fundraising. Uh, that's it for this edition of Blythe Ray Business News. Thanks for watching.